We start tonight with this video taken in Land Park. It shows a man trying to steal a catalytic converter. Someone walks by, starts filming, and the would-be thief is scared off by the passerby's dog. That's when he gets into his car and drives off, trying to shield his face from the camera. This attempted theft happening right in the middle of the day. ABC 10's Alicia Machado is here now. And Alicia, I know you spoke to neighbors in Land Park tonight. What are they saying? Well, they're just fed up and tired of seeing these catalytic converter thefts happening, not only in the middle of the night, but now, as you saw in that video, in broad daylight. This is something that people living there say they're fed up with, enough is enough, and they're just looking for long-term solutions. Not what you'd expect to see while walking your dog. A catalytic converter theft caught in the act. But that's exactly what Timothy Welling came across in Land Park sharing this video with ABC 10. As he passed 16th Street, you can hear the whirring of a saw. Sure enough, he'd find a person under a white pickup truck sawing away. His dog's barking seems to interrupt the attempted theft, the person then sliding into a green Ford Focus before making a getaway. Daytime, broad daylight, it's getting very bold and brazen. It doesn't seem like there's any consequences to people, and no, people aren't really afraid of getting caught anymore. Land Park resident Phoebe Celestin waking up to these unwanted surprises. In the middle of the night, um, people have come by and stolen the catalytic converters off of our cars. It's happened three times to two cars. Catalytic converter thefts are a growing problem across the United States. In our region, an attempted catalytic converter theft caught on camera in Turlock last October. The homeowners taking matters into their own hands, firing a paintball gun at the suspects. And in 2021, a homeowner in South Sacramento came face to face with suspects wielding a blowtorch while trying to steal a catalytic converter. The consequences for catalytic converter theft need to increase. Our laws need to be such that people who are doing this crime need to be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Catalytic converters are a hot item for thieves who sell them for their precious metals. They can fetch more than $100 each from recyclers. A wide range of vehicles can become targets, but according to Carfax, the three most targeted vehicles are the Ford F-Series truck, Honda Accord, and Toyota Prius. But there are some steps residents can take to protect their vehicles. Get a cage installed around the catalytic converter or get the part engraved with your vehicle's license plate number. Park in a garage or well-lit area. And if you must park in a driveway, install motion detector lights, which can act as a deterrent. Now, Sacramento PD wants to emphasize to people, if you see a catalytic converter theft happening, report it. Call 911 if that crime is still in progress. Jot down the license plate number and any suspect vehicle information if you can. You just have to make sure that you can do that safely. Yeah, safety is key, and that is great advice. We know so many of our viewers mm -hmm. are frustrated and angry by all of these crimes going on. We know you'll be tracking it. Alicia Machado, live in studio. Thank you.